Yeah, it was good. I think we played strong d defensive, defensively and uh, made some good goals, so a, a good game. How confident are you feeling in your game right now? Uh, yeah, I was, I think I'm feeling pretty comfortable. I was trying to go down to Abbey and play some, some minutes and try to build my offensive game, and I, I think I, I tried to stay on that, that uh, yeah, course and try to build on that up here too. So yeah. What does four wins in a row mean to this team at this point for you? Yeah, of course it it means a lot. Like you always come into come into the rink and try to win every game, so it's it's important. I know the primary goal is to kill off penalties, but what about all these shorthanded goals you guys are scoring right now? Yeah, I know it, it's hard to describe why. why we're scoring so much, but uh, we was just trying to. If we have a chance, we we will go offensively and try to score. So, yeah. What did you see on the on the play with uh, Miller on his goal, the shorthand one? Oh, I just see the the D was fumbling with the puck, so he lost it, and Milsa gave me a good pass, and I saw him coming back back door, so I was just trying to give the puck to him, and he scores it. So it's, it was nice. Going back, you mentioned already, but mentally was that. An important thing for you to sort of get yourself reset. Did you have to sort of think a bit about what hadn't been working, what had been working, that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I was like the the last game up here before I went out to Abbey. I was playing like pretty pretty bad, I think. But when I come down down to Abbey, I was trying to build my confidence and trying to tr to build on that. And I think I I've been playing better when I come back up here. So just trying to build and trying to get better every day. What is it about? Uh, you and Dakota, you guys seem to have uh, something good going on. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I like him. He's a good, good hockey player and nice person with outside hockey too. So we have fun and I think we have built some chem chemistry there. And yeah. of course, you know, so it's a desperate team over there. A lot of good players, and uh, you know, right from you know, I, I thought uh, maybe a couple of minutes of the start. We're, you know, other than that, I thought we were ready to play. They came hard those first couple of minutes. Didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, I think we were just a little bit, I don't know if we're surprised, you know, we just kind of held the puck a little bit too long, but then we uh, we adjusted, and then I thought we really did a nice job. I think JT's first shift, they came in, you know, he was involved, they hit him a bunch, seemed like they were trying to maybe get under his skin, but he just kept yeah. it cool, which, you know, is what you want. Yeah, I thought he was a monster tonight. He's, he's been playing really well. Uh, JT's, you know, he's been great. His 2A game has been, you know, and I've been putting him against the top line most nights, and he's in his production. So he's been great. I thought PD was really good tonight too, and Hughes, I, I, the three leaders I thought were great tonight for us. This is the first time this group has won four games in a row this year. After the year they've had, do you get a sense that it means more to them right now? I don't know. I just think we're living in the moment. You know, every game, every practice, you know, we're not getting too far ahead of ourselves. You know, the next challenge is whatever the next challenge is. You know, um, that's the way you got to do it right now. You've been here and on the job for six weeks or so. They were so low when you took over. Just the morale, and, and I know you're not a finished product yet, but how different is this group now, do you think, than from when you took over? Yeah, I mean, this game is about energy and attitude. You know, um, obviously there's excellent X and O's and stuff, but, you know, this wasn't a, it wasn't a great time for everybody. Uh, and I think that uh, guys are just kind of rebooting and refreshing, and, um, you know, we're trying to build something. So that's the way you got to look at it. But they're, they're bringing that energy and attitude every day. That's what I asked them for to do six weeks ago. We ask you every night. I'm sure you won't get tired of talking about shorthanded goals. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, this is a – I remember a run we had in Arizona, like with uh, Richardson and um, Grabner. It was, like, unreal for it. So it's, it's almost the same thing with the, uh, with Millsy and even with Petey there. It's, it's crazy. Rick, with – Yeah, that's fine. No problem. <laughs> Sorry, with uh, with your engagement, um, obviously it probably got a little more interesting than you'd have liked. But did you see anything there that's <clears throat> worth being concerned about, or even watching on video? No, I mean, uh, listen, they're they're, they're going to dump the puck and they're going to they're going to send the, everything in the kitchen sink. Uh, and we held it together, and then we got you know obviously that goal at the end. But you know, it's uh, no, not really. Um, unfortunate puck goes over the glass. No, I'm not worried about it. You seem really limited the amount of shots that the Suns got off yeah. tonight. How, how big is that in, uh, when you look at how this group is <clears throat> Well, it's just it, you believe in what we're doing. You know, when you look up and there's 12 shots, I don't know how much left in the second. It means 
excuse me, everybody's gapping up and the, the fence are, are uh, trusting the fours that they're backing the defensemen up. It's, it's just, you know, it's a lot of different uh, trust factors. Um, you can't play this game if you don't trust your teammates. And uh, that's something we've really worked on the last six weeks is trust. We saw a lot of downs for Demko at the beginning of the season, but since he's been back, you've seen only ups. Yeah, what, what is the mental game has impressed you? I mean, he's even when they scored the second goal, uh, you know, he came to the bench, he's smiling. Like, you know, he knew he was in control. You know, it was a... Love to get the shout out for him, but um, yeah, he's been. I mean, I don't know what happened in the past uh, this year. All I know is, that, like, I'm thank God I got him. He's a hell of a goalie. And he's a great. He's a he's a he's a leader too. He could d- easily put an A on his sh- uh, his jersey for sure. You, uh, you had Ethan Bear on the ice this morning. You think he mm-hmm. might be an option for Monday night? <clears throat> might be a stretch. He's getting close. You know, he's getting close. Um, yeah, I know, uh, but he's getting close. I mean. I th- I don't know, but I, you'd, see, you'd think he'd be on this road trip, but I'm not 100% sure. Has Heronic been on the ice yet? Do you expect him uh, to No, soon? not yet. Um, soon. Soon. Yeah. Rick, with how your team has played of late, you've gotten big performances from your best players, and I know you've <clears> complimented <throat> them, but yeah. the offense is sort of carried by Dry, Simon, uh, some of your depth guys. What have you learned about the depth that you have here since you've gone? Well, uh, I've seen a, uh, a growth in Josh. Uh, Dakota, Dakota Joshua, um, Almond, you know they've accepted their roles, and uh, and I think they've done a terrific job. Um, you know, Potsy has been, been nothing but a pleasure to coach. You know, I wish I got him out there a little bit just because of matchups. I couldn't get that line out there as much as I wanted. Um, but the, the growth of those guys, they're the future of the Canucks, and we got to get those guys, you know, developed. And I thought this month they've they've made it, they've made strides. I think, and this is a big summer for a lot of guys if we're going in the right direction.